where Democratic Party presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and her Republican opponent Donald Trump faced off in a tense debate Sunday in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, the second of three presidential debates. Uh, now, the debate was held amid a growing chorus of Republicans who want Trump to quit the race after the release of a videotape in which he made offensive remarks about women. But as viewer national correspondent uh, Jim Malone reports, Trump was aggressive from the start. The tension was evident from the start as the candidates dispensed with the traditional opening handshake. Trump sought to apologize for vulgar references to women on an 11-year-old videotape. Yes, I'm very embarrassed by it. I hate it. But it's locker room talk and... It's one of those things. Clinton cited the tape because as evidence that Trump is not fit to be president. And the latest in a long list of insulting comments POWs, targeting Muslims, women, Latinos, and, so and Muslims. So this is who Donald Trump is. And the question for us, the question our country must answer, is that this is not who we are. Trump kept on the attack throughout the debate, calling Clinton a liar and, at one point, the devil. He also criticized her again for her use of a private email server while she was secretary of state. But if I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation, because there has never been so many lies. Everything he just said is absolutely false, but I'm not oh, surprised. Really? It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah. Because you'd be in jail. Clinton hammered away at Trump's proposed Muslim ban, while Trump said his plan had changed. We are not at war with Islam, and it is a mistake, and it plays into the hands of the terrorists to act as though we are. It's called extreme vetting. We are going to areas like Syria where they're coming in by the tens of thousands because of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. And the two also clashed over time. Syria and, and Russia, with ago, Clinton alleging that Russia favors Senator. Trump. Russia has decided that it's all in in Syria. And they've also decided who they want to see become president of the United States, too, and it's not me. I don't know, Putin. I think it would be great if we got along with Russia because we could fight ISIS together, as an example. The only positive then note came at the end when a voter asked the candidates to say something nice about each other, which they did. His children are incredibly able and devoted, and I think that says a lot about Donald. Uh, I will say this about Hillary. She doesn't quit. She doesn't give up. I respect that. Clinton and Trump meet for a third and final debate in Las Vegas on October 19th. Well, for more insights on the presidential debate, our viewers national correspondent Jim Malone now joins me too. Welcome back, Jim. Thanks, Vincent. What an exciting evening it was. <laughs> Exciting in some ways, depressing in, in others, way. perhaps. Yeah. Now, uh, of course, um, the biggest question was, did Donald Trump answer the questions? Well, he answered it for some conservatives. I yeah. think they were cheered by his aggressive attacks on Clinton. Uh, but the issue of this videotape we've talked about, uh, the lewd remarks about women that he made 11 years ago, continues to haunt the campaign. And just today, the wake and the day after the debate, the House Speaker, Paul Ryan, has said he'll no longer defend Trump on the campaign trail, won't appear with him, uh, and wants to make sure that Hillary Clinton does not get a blank check if she is elected president. Now, the significance of this is he's not withdrawing his endorsement of Trump, but it shows that this civil war within the Republican Party continues unabated. That's probably not good for the party heading into an election 30 days away. Now, despite, uh, you know, all the, uh, you know, whatever happened uh, with Mr. Trump, uh, did it appear like Hillary had a hard time last evening? At times she did. I think he was able to put her on the defensive over the email issue, uh, over past statements uh, that she has made on various issues. And, of course, bringing up uh, Bill Clinton's 
problems in the 90s when uh, some women came forward with allegations against him, trying to relitigate the past, if you will, on the Clinton scandals. Uh, that kept her on the defensive. Uh, a lot of the hardcore Trump supporters liked how aggressive he was. But I must tell you, we had a moment there, and we showed it, where he said if he were president, he would try to make sure a special prosecutor went after her over the emails. I don't think we've ever had in American history one candidate threatening right. to jail yeah. the, their opponent. That is serious. Now, we know there's another debate coming up, but uh, in terms of what we can expect, I mean, what, what is it this debate achieved that is different than last one, and what else can we expect now? From the Clinton point of view, uh, probably not a lot changed. She's ahead in the polls. That may even grow as the reaction to the tape grows in the polling data that we're going to see in the next few days. For Trump, though, he may have staved off a, a complete insurrection in the party by a strong attacking performance. He cheered the conservatives who want that kind of approach against Clinton, and he may be able to stave off those in the party who want to get rid of him because they also know they need his supporters to win their congressional races. But, uh, at the end of the day, it's about winning over those who are not decided. Yes, I don't think Trump did a lot to win over, for example, women voters who were offended <laughs> by that take. Yeah, that's tough. Jim, thanks, as you always. Bet. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, that's our view is uh, Jim Malone, who's a national correspondent. Now, shortly after Sunday's second presidential debate between Democratic Party presidential nominee Hillary Clinton and her Republican opponent Donald Trump, a diverse group of voters at VOA's Washington headquarters gave their impressions of the two candidates. VOA's Richard Green has more on the reaction to the latest round of an increasingly bitter White House campaign. VOA's post-debate panel brought together people from different immigrant communities in the United States. The majority believe Clinton prevailed in the debate, with the rest either siding with Trump or still undecided. Her statesmanship is the most obvious aspect of her, um, her presentation. And for that reason, it, it's very hard to really consider a candidate like Trump. I don't believe any of them. That's one point. The second point is that there has been a nationwide media campaign to discredit Trump only by demonizing him they think that they can shove Clinton down our throats. Sunday's debate was overshadowed by Friday's release of a 2005 video in which Trump spoke about groping women. Women in the VOA foreman did not accept Trump's explanation that his remarks were merely everyday private conversations between men. That's um, inexcusable action. As a man that's going to be representative of a nation where one in five college women get uh, sexually harassed, oh, it's just locker room banter. It doesn't matter what it is. It's still disrespectful and inappropriate for anyone, especially a presidential candidate. But audience member Cliff Lee from China said while he disagreed with Trump's comments, his candidacy represents a more serious issue. Many of us really think the country is at the crossroads. Where we're heading to? Are we heading to European style, kind of a, a more of a close to a socialist direction, or, or especially this year, we feel might be the look at the demographics, might be the last year we have a chance to have a Republican president which balance it out. In a Twitter poll conducted by VOA, just over two thirds of those responding said they would vote for Clinton over Trump. Richard Green, VOA News, Washington.